What's the deal, cuz? Hope everybody's doing good. It's your boy, Kyle McGuire, representing United Soft Wash out of Garner, North Carolina. And today, I wanted to talk about a special tool that your boy keeps in his arsenal of soft wash, pressure washing tools. And I think if you don't already have one, you need to go ahead and invest that buck fifty, two hundred bucks. Go ahead and copy you one because you're gonna need it at some point. Whether you're using it as your primary source of applying chemical to a house, or it's just a backup like I use, you're gonna want this highly reliable, highly cost-effective tool in your arsenal. All right, let's dive right in and talk about this X-Jet. I use the X-Jet M5 and how to use it. Peace. everybody so let's dive right in i got my exit right here and i'm about to tell y'all about it what the benefits are what the drawbacks are and why i think it's at least something that you should have in your arsenal so here it is y'all it's fairly simple that's it it's a hose y'all on the end it's got a filter keeps debris dirt out of your system all right about halfway up the line got a little valve here when it's in line with the hose, in line with the flow of water or chemical, you're pulling soap. All right, let's set this thing. When it's like that, you ain't pulling soap. If y'all needed me to show y'all that, y'all might want to rethink this whole pressure washing thing. All right, and most importantly, got your X jet. All right, now basically, this part, the metal part, is your X-Jet. I have the X-Jet M5, which has this M5 twist nozzle on it. This thing is clutch. The benefit is, you see it's closed right there? When it's closed like that, I'm spraying a fan, all right? When you rotate it, it opens up. Now you're shooting like a jet stream, right? It's gonna give you a lot more distance. This device right here is awesome. And why I say you should have one is because this is a super cheap, super reliable way of applying chemical to a house. I know dudes that this is their primary means of washing houses, soft washing houses. It has some drawbacks, just like uh, traditional soft washing or even downstreaming. They both have drawbacks, but they definitely have their benefits just like the other two. The benefits are I could pull a pretty hot mix with this thing. I could pull a hot enough mix to where I could clean stucco, I could clean a roof, even though I wouldn't recommend roof cleaning with this thing. The amount of overspray you get from this is a lot of overspray, all right? And it's it's too much overspray to feel comfortable when you're spraying that hot of a mix. I wouldn't feel comfortable because unless you're doing an amazing job of rinsing, you have a high probability of killing some plants or getting some, some mix on, on parts of the building that you don't want, so on, so forth, all right? Another drawback is you have to carry around a bucket, right? So let's say right here. It's just a five gallon bucket of SH, y'all. So that's not really a drawback. I mean, if if you got if you're if you're a man, you know what I'm saying? Carrying around a five gallon bucket ain't really no big deal. So you put your filter into the bucket in that SH. And then you got this joker right here going straight into your gun and you're applying soap to the house. It's that simple. This thing costs about 150 bucks, 200 bucks for the whole system. And uh, I highly recommend it because you could get into the game with this thing and be washing houses like a mofo. Or it could be a backup. You know, I, ha I have a 12 volt system and sometimes on those uh, super windy days, it's like pissing in the wind, y'all. If I'm trying to hit a dormer, a dormer or a fascia, right up there on that second story, third story, it, it can be difficult. And sometimes I gotta wait for the wind to, to stop gusting to be able to hit it. This thing, I, I have a consistent range with it. Even in the wind, it, it seems to do pretty well. So I use it on those windy days as a backup. Um, let me go ahead and show you a little bit more about how it works. The vertical part right here, if you take this hose off, I don't want, I don't feel like heating it up and pulling that, that hose off, but Basically, they have these plastic proportioners that come inside a bag. Whenever you buy your X-Jet, ensure that you are buying the X-Jet that fits your machine. It's, it's determined by how many gallons per minute you're using. So if you have an eight gallon a minute machine, 
get the X jet that's compatible with eight gallons a minute, so on and so forth with four gallon a minute. I have four gallon a minute machine. If I took this M5 twist off and looked in here, there, there's an orifice and the gallons per minute dictates how big that orifice needs to be for, for pulling your cam. All right, another thing that's very important with pulling your cam and your, and your ratios is this vertical part right here. Whenever you buy your X jet, there is a bag, a little plastic bag of plastic proportioners, right? I think I'm using the beige one right now. And what that does is it ensures that you're putting out the, the strength of mix that you want while you have your thing dipped into, let's say, straight 12.5 SH, right? I would much rather have the proportioner in it. That way I could just pull around a jug of straight SH and I wouldn't have to batch mix. Some people I know don't even use those proportioners. The drawback is you have to then maybe use something like three gallons of water, two gallons of bleach in your bucket, right? Because you're pulling more, but you want a more diluted ratio to get your, your house wash mix, all right? So whenever you buy your X jet, there's a little card that has little, it's a color coordinated chart and it tells you what proportion what proportion are you need to put in to uh, achieve the desired ratio that you want for whatever it is you're cleaning. I stick with beige on the four gallon a minute machine. Um, some people might disagree with that, but that's just what I have good luck with. 90% of the houses that I'm washing around here are vinyl and beige even does good on hardy plant houses. I do that because I, I don't like the idea of constantly having to mix a bucket and then carry that around. I could just, I could just transfer five gallons of chem into this bucket and I'm good to go. And I could have one or two of those buckets on my truck. Um, what's another benefit? Another benefit, sorry y'all, I'm thinking as I go. Another benefit is I don't have chem going through my hoses. You know, I'm not, I'm not knocking downstreaming. I, I love downstreaming, the idea of it, the concept. But with this, I'm not pulling chemical through my hose. It's literally coming up this hose right here and out, and out this M5 twist. It's not coming through my pressure hose. Um, and, I, and you don't have to deal with faulty downstream injectors. Uh, I, I don't know anybody that has issues with this thing. Like, uh, but I know a lot of guys that have constant issues with their downstream injectors. Not saying all are bad, but there are a lot of companies out there that make subpar injectors. Um, and I'm not saying traditional down, uh, soft washing is, is, preferred, is uh, better than this. As a one-man show, I'm pulling off a chemical hose, you know, I'm pulling off my chemical hose for my soft wash system, and then I have to turn around and pull off the high-pressure hose, so I'm constantly tripping over myself and getting tangled up and stuff, whereas the benefit with this is you pull your pressure hose off the truck, that's the only hose you got, because besides this little hose right here to the bucket, super easy to pull your pressure hose out, attach this, throw your filter into the SH, and bam, you're applying chemical to the house at a cheap at a cheap price, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, you're in the game. You're soft washing. All right, is it? It's not a traditional soft wash system, but it will get the job done. And there's even a couple videos out there. I'll post one on how you could uh you could tweak your gun, your trigger gun, and your X jet to where you get less uh, overspray, less mist. All right, so. Basically, in a nutshell, that's the X Jet, y'all. I ain't giving y'all a history lesson on it. I'm just giving y'all the down and dirty. If you got any questions, hit me up. Uh, speaking of comments, do me a favor. Do, you, do, do your friend a favor. Uh, I'm trying to see how far of a reach I have with my YouTube channel. So leave me a comment if you feel comfortable putting your company name or just put where y'all from so I can know, you know how far of an impact I'm having or how far people are away that are watching my channel and enjoy it. So uh, that's that, y'all. That is the X-Jet. And if you don't have it, go ahead and get you one. It's a great backup. If your 12-volt pump dies or your downstream injector dies, pull out that X-Jet for 150 bucks. I will spend that all day every day to avoid one of those heartache days. And if you've been in the game long enough, you know what I'm talking about. Where all types of stuff goes wrong, the last thing you want to happen is your equipment to go down where you can't wash the house. That sucks. And it's happened to me before. So... Smart investment. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll I'll hook some Flexil up to the pressure washer, get some water going, and I'll I'll hook this X jet up. I ain't gonna spray cam everywhere, but I eff it. We we gonna be we spraying y'all. All right, let's do this. All right, y'all. I'm out here. This is the setup, y'all. I got my gun right here. 
one of my guns. This is a Sutner gun, excellent gun. Right here at the Quick Connect, got the X-Jet M5 with the twist nozzle and my hose. And as you can see, it's going straight to a bucket, y'all. Straight to a bucket of straight 12.5 SH, or that's actually 15. Um, and in that bucket, y'all, in that bucket, y'all could put a couple ounces of y'all soap because you're not, you don't have a blend module like I have. You want to add a little bit of soap into your SH. That way, when it's blended with the water, you have a surfactant that's going to attach this uh, this uh, cleaning, cleaning chemical to whatever it is you're cleaning. So make sure you got some soap in there. Uh, I'm about to start this uh, pressure washer up. I'll hook this gun up to the high pressure ball valve and uh, we'll get to spraying. Hold on. I'm going to keep it transparent, y'all. I remember one time there was a YouTuber. I used to watch him. I don't watch him no more. But, uh... He was about to do a house wash, and uh, he was he was making his video, and he's like, first, cr first crank every time, y'all. <laughs> it ended up taking him like five, six cranks. He ended up cutting the video, so it probably took a lot longer than that. But first crank, y'all. Your boy Kyle McGuire ain't no bitch. Y'all bear with me. Hold up. All right, y'all. We ready to go. Let me pause this. Alright y'all, that's the fan. Let me just adjust this uh knob. And that's the jet stream, y'all. You can see how high it goes up. Let me go ahead and switch this to water. Hold up. All right, y'all. So basically, that's it. Uh, sorry the video was so shaky. I didn't have my tripod and didn't have my tripod and uh, was switching. Had to keep putting the phone down to uh, turn the soap off and on. And I just cut the video short. That way I could rinse my, my shop pretty good because I've just painted it recently. But that's it, y'all. It's that it's that simple. The hook up to your gun to apply your soap. You, you freaking hit that lever, and bam, you, you're spraying water, and you're rinsing down your house. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I'm about to... I just got my truck ready for tomorrow. I got a couple jobs. Now I got to get all these hoses back up. But I'm about to go out and get some food. Uh, y'all know I love tacos, but I'm craving some sushi, y'all. Um, I freaking love sushi. So let's go get some sushi. And I will get with y'all. Take care. Peace. Hello, I'm Kendra. Thanks for watching this video. Me and Kyle have a lot of work to do. See you next time. Please subscribe for more videos.